I want to talk you through the article critique assignment again because I'm hearing that there are some folks who are still not entirely clear on what to do. Step one is you choose a poem that is listed on our syllabus. So I've actually pulled up our old syllabus here so that you can see it. Just for fun, and since we didn't really get a chance to talk about it in class, I'm going to choose the love song of J. Alfred Prufrock. What I would then do is I would go and actually read the love song of J. Alfred Prufrock. I would find a great copy of it, take some time, read through the entire poem. If you haven't, you should. It is phen phenomenal. Um, but then after you have read it, you will identify a theme of the poem. I am going to argue that at least one theme is that the narrator is dealing with old age. They will say how his hair is growing thin. So now I've chosen my poem. I've chosen a theme old age. I then go to the CCBC library homepage, which is accessible here on the CCBC main page. I will go to article databases and then search in either ProQuest Central or Academic Search Premier for two things. And when it finally gets up here, we will, sh we will talk it through. Just thinking about it. So I always hit advanced search so I can put two search terms in the boxes. So notice in the first text box I am writing the title of the poem that I chose. In the second box I'm going to type the theme that I have identified in the love song of J. Alfred Prufrock. We're going to hit search, wait for it to think about what it wants to send back to us. Now, I've got over 940 results. I can't possibly look through all of those separate results unless I had a ton of time, which I know many of you don't. So I'm going to make sure that I'm looking for full text, peer-reviewed journal articles, because that's what the assignment is asking you to do. And then I'm also going to ensure that it narrows specifically to scholarly journals. So I'm clicking three separate things there. So when I applied those filters, I came down to 292 results. Now, my next task is to read through the titles that come up with that search term. It might take a little bit of time to find an article that you would like to critique and it might be a little while before you find one that addresses the particular theme specifically. Here's one that looks interesting to me. Feminism, Eros, and the Coming of Age. It looks like it actually references the love song of J. Alfred Prufrock. So I'm gonna click full text PDF And I might read the introduction to see if it's of interest to me at all. Within the first two pages, I really don't see any mention of the love song of J. Alfred Prufrock. So at that point, I can say probably not going to be the best for this assignment. So I go back to the drawing board. I keep looking at titles. and I'm coming up empty. So what I would do then is I would go back and I would modify my search. So I know that I want to find something with the love song of J. Alfred Prufrock, so I click where it says anywhere, click on abstract, which will ensure that every article that comes up has the love song of J. Alfred Prufrock specifically mentioned in the abstract of the paper. 
That narrows it down to 67 results. So I've got an even narrower area to work with. So I'm not finding old age specifically, so I might use something different than old age. So maybe 'll maybe just the term senile this looks interesting All right, interesting. So this particular journal article compares two poems that particularly have similar images of a girl or group of mermaids riding on a fish or the waves among the vast sea, which are either bizarre, romantic, in short, impressive, and unusual. This essay will explore the similarities in Lee Hayes and T.S. Eliot's verse and the reasons behind it. At this juncture, I would probably stick with this particular article for the assignment, read through it, and see if there's anything uh, that particularly notes what I've found in terms of the theme. Bear in mind that when you're performing research, you might not always locate articles that are going to speak exactly to what you want to argue, but will at least point to some of the things that you see uh, in whatever, whatever material you're dealing with and therefore will be useful to you as long as you can be uh, creative in the way in which you attach what you find in the article specifically to what you see in the theme of the piece that you're reading. So now that I've identified my poem, the theme, performed research, and located my journal article, the final step in this process is reading this entire journal article which would mean likely downloading this text so that I could have it and write on it. And then I will perform an article critique. For more information concerning how to perform the critique, I have uploaded a PowerPoint presentation to the Blackboard page. Uh, if you have any further questions, I'm also willing to meet with you via Zoom. Hopefully this was helpful and helped to clarify some of the questions.